Hi, I'm Cassidy, and I am a baby wearing educator, but I also talk about all things motherhood, really. Um, I got a request to do a comparison between the No Reception Club getaway bag and the Milk X Whiskey diaper bag slash adventure bag. So I'm going to kind of go into the pros and cons of each, what I, you know, where I think they shine and you can decide if it's the right option for you. So to start off with the similarity, they both do come with an insulated little cooler bag. This is the Milk X Whiskey. This is the No Reception Club. As you can see, this one's quite a bit smaller, but the Milk X Whiskey is very insulated. So if you can see, there is quite thick insulation all the way around. Great for keeping things cold for a long time, but it does limit the actual capacity of that space. So in the Milk X Whiskey bag, it has this dedicated space here. It does have a separator between the two parts. With this one, you can adjust it, or not adjust it, you can take it out completely, so you would just unclip it, and then you'd have just a traditional backpack set up. But this fits perfectly right into that slot. The No Reception Club bag also has a dedicated space that you can place it. We actually just took this on a trip. We actually took both on a trip, um, but it is all set up for that. So this one would just slide right there is where I typically put it this middle one it just seems to fit best there you can adjust where these are sitting I find this is the best configuration for us right now I really like having the three separate pockets but you can adjust it so that this is smaller or bigger or however you want it and then you could also just put this on a clip outside if you wanted this also can attach using these where the diaper bag portion of the Milk X Whiskey bag is. So this does unclip and then you could add this here if desired. It is a four point clip so when you're walking around it's not going to be sitting there banging against the bag which is really nice. So it clips four at the top and then it has this one down here as well and the lunchbox has the four spots as well. Okay so for the diaper bag that does is removable I've found there's kind of some pros and cons. Pro, you can take it off and not use it if you don't want to. You can also just have this separate and like leave this part in your car if you wanted to, to have extra storage. So the Milk X Whiskey feels a lot more rugged in terms of materials. It's something that I would, you know, throw around in the dirt and get dirty and not be too worried about it. If you've got some light rain or anything, it is gonna kind of just go right off of this, which is nice. So this is what the inside of the diaper bag section looks like. It has these two pockets here. They fit disposable diapers. A cloth diaper is not going to fit in here. It's not a very roomy pocket. But then you also have this zippered compartment here where you could put some small valuables or whatever you need to. Maybe a little tube of diaper cream or something. And then it's got this that has an elastic. I kind of wish these had elastics just so that they could stretch a little bit more and hold a little more. But this bottom one does and that's where I end up putting wipes. But then there still is extra space down in this pack so you could still put quite a bit of stuff in there. For me personally this tends to just stay in the car. Um, I don't find that I bring it with me as much. I will say it does have a slot here where you can take out the changing pad, which is a pretty good size changing pad, and it is in this pocket. So if you're not using this with the bag, then you kind of do lose that, although you could just put it in the bag as well. So the Milk X Whiskey bag, like I said, it is more rugged, which also means it's slightly heavier when they're both empty, but it is still a pretty lightweight overall bag. No. Yeah. No. Mm-hmm. It does have significantly thicker padding on this part, a little comparison. So if you can see the difference between these two, this is significantly more padding and it's just a thicker strap in general. I will say my husband finds this bag very comfortable. So it also has a lot of padding here, which would make it more comfortable if you're wearing for extended periods of time. So how I like to use it is just like this. I actually use this typically to store diapers and wipes. It has this nice pouch here. 
and it does have this same material which again kind of leaves it water resistant which is nice if you have diapers and it gets a little rainy because then you're not worrying about those getting soaked through. It has a lot of different connection points on it where you could add things if needed. It does have a lot of different compartments. So you've got this one on the front, which opens fully all the way so you can see everything nice and clear. It has this elastic piece here, which is just a single all the way across. And then it does have two spots right here, again with elastic and a mesh. So you've got two slots here to keep things organized. On our last trip, I actually used this section to organize all of my son's clothing because I just used this as his bag. It was his dedicated bag, everything that, for the trip, whether it was the cloth diapers, everything. It was all in this bag. It's got a small little compartment here. It is lined, which is nice if you have your phone or something in there so it's not getting all scratched up or you could put your keys and stuff in there. This is the main compartment. It again opens all the way to the divider. So if you want, you can just take this divider out, but if you want it in, it opens all the way to the divider. It has two little slots here, a larger one right here that actually goes all the way down the backpack. And then you've got a small zippered pouch right here that again goes quite, it's not all the way down, but it is significantly deeper than you'd expect. It goes about all the way down and then another quarter maybe. It has a nice shelf that things can sit on and I've never had that shelf fall in or anything. It's got this secret little pocket right here so you can put valuables and keep those safe. That's your side with the lunch box right here. And then you do have a spot for a water bottle or whatever else you might want to put there. Lastly, it does have this spot back here. I believe that it has an actual pad that you can like put down and sit. I need to find that. Um, it was removed for some reason and didn't get put, put back. But I'll double check. I'm pretty sure it has one. This one does have a chest clip, which can help just to keep it a little more comfy and not moving on your shoulders as much. This bag also has a whistle. I would use this more as an outdoorsy bag, one that you're taking hiking or something like that. As of now, it just comes in this one color, which is sort of a dark green and black. And then it does have some leather detailing. As of filming this, the No Reception Club getaway bag is in two colors right now. It has the new olive and then the standard black. So the No Reception getaway bag you can get with the little hip bag. I said some things in another video about how, you know, why initial impressions it wasn't my absolute favorite, but I've actually found that I'm reaching for this more than I thought I would and I'm using it quite a bit which honestly really surprised me. I did not love this initially, and I now have found that I do love it. <laughs> so, it holds a ton of wipes. You're not constantly having to restock or anything, which is really nice. And they're easy to get to. If you get this, you also get a changing pad, which is a pretty robust changing pad. Honestly, I just leave this at home. I don't use changing pads very often. We mostly change in the back of the car or on my legs. So I'm just going to start off by saying this is the ultimate, perfect, amazing travel bag. I can't think of another bag that I'd ever want to use when traveling. Like, this is perfection. With or without kids, honestly. But reasons I love it is it's just thoughtfully designed with kids in mind. Don't get me wrong, the other one is as well. It's really meant to grow with your family, but it's a, it's a really great adventure bag. It wouldn't be my first choice to take on, you know, an airplane or a ferry ride or, you know, when you're traveling a lot. This is designed for travel in mind and it really excels at that. So on our last trip, we I used this as my sole bag. It packed everything from some of the kids stuff to all of my items, including personal items and everything. So had a bunch of snacks in here. So as you can see, I packed stuff like this in the cooler bag. The black has a black cooler bag and a black hip bag that you can, this is extra, it is an add-on, but it's a reduced price when you buy the two together. So something cool about this bag is it does have a place for water bottles or you know so many things you could put in here. 
but I tend to put water bottles in here on, on both sides, which I do like. And then your hip bag is designed to fit in this pocket. Of course you wouldn't have to, but when you're traveling by air, you know, you can only have two bags. So this could be your personal item and then you could have your larger carry-on. You could have this out through this, you know, through security or wherever, and then you can just set it in here and zip it in. But yeah, so it just perfectly fits in that space, which is really nice that was thoughtfully designed. It has a pass-through that you can put on a rolling suitcase. So it comes with these stroller attachments. You can choose whether you use them or not, but they come with it. It has this little pouch up here. It's where I usually put personal items, you know, anything I might need during a flight or a trip or just quickly access things that are for me. It has this back section that you can unzip. You can fit a laptop in here. I think a 15 inch Mac. Uh, it's got the slot for your laptop and then it has this section. This is usually where I put things like my passport or anything after we're through security and I don't wanna have to worry about it getting lost. I have it back here. It just feels a lot more safe and secure and honestly most of the time you don't realize there's a pocket there unless you're really looking for it. Inside this part is honestly why I love this bag so much or at least 90%. So it, like I mentioned before, it has these three compartments. It has your little cooler bag. The one thing I will say is I don't love that this isn't square. It does make it so you lose space in here because once this is in, you have this space here that you can't really put anything or it'll fall out. And it means less food in your cooler bag, which give me all the food. So one downside to that in my opinion. And then you've got this lower one. Usually I'll throw, you know, toys and stuff in here. I like putting toys um, sound machine, things like that in this bottom one. And then up here, I usually put diapers and wipe. Like I mentioned, you have extra diapers and wipes. If you put this in backwards on that pocket, then you can just open that pocket, flip that open and grab wipes as well. But I like to just have extra for a trip. So I'll usually put my diapers and wipes all in here. You can access it from the top as well so it has these two you just unclip and then it has this drawstring so you can actually end up fitting quite a bit in here depending on how high you want this but it's a pretty roomy space let me show you that so it's quite a roomy space but I really like being able to access from the top or bottom and depending on how full you need it. This is where I stored all of my clothes this last trip because he had his own diaper bag. But I really like just having all the diapers here and being able to quickly grab them from the top or the side. And then another thing that I love, love, love on this bag is this pocket right here. So yeah, I do. I love it. So this is waterproof and it actually can go up into that other compartment a ways. And you can put like wet swimsuits, mm -hmm. dirty diapers, basically anything mm -hmm. in here and then easily wipe it out and also not get everything mm -hmm. else. Yeah. But you can put dirty diapers and all kinds of stuff in here and then not have to worry about any leaking or nastiness getting out. Yeah. I will say too, like, I think I already mentioned this, but this bag is insanely light. It has held up. We've used the black one on so many trips. It has leather detailing on the bottom on some of these places. This is a metal buckle. And then just the, like, even though it's insanely lightweight, it holds up so well and it's so robust still that I haven't had any issues with worrying about things breaking or having any issues with quality. That's the, these two bags. Yeah. Let me know if you have any other questions yeah. and I better get to this little guy.